We turn to now what's maybe a surprising message from the guy who essentially invented the Labradoodle, if you will. This is the breeder. He's calling the Labrador Poodle Mix his worst regret, saying this opened up a Pandora's box, which essentially makes breeding dogs big business with little regard for their health. We'll read back with the story about a really popular dog here. Yeah, I mean, they're hugely popular, but this guy says that he created Frankenstein's monster, TJ. These guys, these Labradoodles, they're so cute, that mix between the lab and the poodle, they're everywhere, but the man who created it under a very specific set of circumstances wishes he never had. This morning, the man who invented the Labradoodle, the trendy popular dog breed, says his canine creation is his life's biggest regret. I opened a Pandora box and released a Frankenstein monster. In a recent interview with Australia's ABC podcast, Sum of All Parts, Wally Conran, who created the breed in 1989 for a blind woman who needed a hypoallergenic guide dog, says his work was done with pure intentions, but has created an unhealthy trend for designer breeds. I released the reason for these unethical, ruthless people to breed these dogs and sell them for big bucks. Conran says some breeders are more concerned about the dog's popularity and their potential price tag than making sure the dog would be healthy. Unhealthy breeding can increase a dog's risk of congenital disease, hip dysplasia, elbow problems, and other hereditary issues. Purebred doesn't mean healthy. In fact, this very small population size and restricted mating can lead to the accumulation of disease, and these mutations may be eliminated by natural selection in much larger natural populations. The ASPCA telling ABC News in a statement, different breeds are predisposed to certain inherited disorders and diseases, and a good breeding program should aim to minimize these risks and improve the overall health of the breed. But so many Instagrammers loving their doodles, even though Conran said that, quote, I find that the biggest majority are either crazy or have a hereditary problem. The president of the Australian Labradoodle Club of America, Amy Murphy, saying this to the New York Times in defense. All dogs are crazy. <laughs> These designer dogs fetch a huge price tag, thousands of dollars. Regardless, though, yeah. they are hugely popular, so if you're thinking of getting one, keep this in mind. To have the healthiest Labradoodle possible, look for places where the puppies live with the mother and make sure both dog parents have been tested for those health issues and make sure you get a health certificate. You better certify that yourself. Oh. A checklist. Yeah, and uh, they are cute dogs, yeah. though. <laughs> so I see why I the man I can see the was, point. I can see his point. Yeah, I, when I first heard the story, I was like, oh, I don't know about this, but I see why he would... I'm, uh, I'm with you, Will. He created yeah. a monster. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.